Alright, you guys. So, I'm hardly going to film like this. You know, to save me some room on my eternal drive. So, this is just a hello thing to that right now. I'm going to get up, pee, probably poop too, and um, get dressed and get ready. Because Dad will pick me up at around 11. I need to change your clothes in case it's going to be a cold night with the fireworks. So, yeah. Alrighty. Yep, I gotta get dressy, dressy, dressy. It's a fun day today. Yeah, guys. Happy day means no thinking of sad, pissed off things. So, um, with the therapy homework my therapist gave me, I'm not going to think about it today, okay? So, I want to talk about that too, a little bit. Um, I'm still afraid to take antipsychotics because of the side effects. So, I just don't know. The psychiatrist says it'll be a very small dose, but still, you know. I'll talk about it more later, okay? The door. Alicia promised this time next year, you will be funding a baby son. Yeah, I should grab um, the word of bill. the Lord. Thanks, my tip. I slept all day long, and I remember um, my ex at the time, we would FaceTime, <laughs> that's healthy, we would FaceTime and he would tell me, like, if you were sleeping all day, that's so unlike you, but also the only time he'd ever known me was when I was hypomanic, so he was like, that is so unlike you, like, why are you doing that, like, you're usually so productive, and I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on, um, and like, my parents couldn't bring me anything, so I was just kind of hungry all the time, that's one of the things that I remember. And antidepressants, which at the time was fine, but then later on caused me a crap ton of trouble because when I came out of the hospital, I was super duper. I became super manic at some point um, until like I was weaned off the Prozac. Every single day, I hated it. I just prayed for me to like go back. And like by the end of it, I was feeling okay, but I talked, I almost talked my way out of it. I talked to the counselor who like is in charge of like letting you leave. And I just like knew what she wanted to hear, and so that's kind of what I told her. Yeah, um, if I do run out of eternal drive, I can always, um, film on my SD card. So, no big deal. Um, it's about 10 o'clock and Dad is going to call me soon, I think. Oh, so, I'm going to bring this long and my um cord and i really don't know if i want to see the fireworks or not i'll have to ask jenny Jenny's coming. but still um i'm not sure if we want to do that or not the fireworks there are yeah i don't know if i got cut off or not but the fireworks there are dead they would shoot Ooh. Oh. Yes, it's pretty, but then it's nothing like how it was at the Balloon Fest, <laughs> you know. But um, the plan is I'm going to bring my laptop to Dad's and, um, and after when we get back from the garden, we're going to eat our chicken 
and watch a movie. And then if Jenny wants to, we have to leave around like 7 o'clock or something to get there, you know, to watch the fireworks. So two hours away. And then, um, yes, there's like music and stuff. But that could get boring. And then, you know, I have towards the book. I'm bringing this. If I don't feel like reading this. Okay. And I'm taking my mask along. And I'm taking my pills along in case, you know, back issues or squinting too much from the bright sun. That does that for my head. Headache. When I, after I squint too much from being in the sun, I get headaches. So I'm going to take my Tylenol with me. And so getting out after the fireworks show, it's a nightmare. Hundreds are getting Today I'm going to talk to you about the psych ward. So like I um, Jenny just texted me saying that she isn't feeling good because of the heat. I don't think she has um, air in her apartment like I do. And so she's not feeling good. Her daughter's not feeling good. But um, I'm kind of having a headache right now from getting hungry. So I'm going to take a pill myself right now. Just be on the safe side with my back too. I'm still going to bring my mask. I don't have to worry about extra clothes. Or my books. Or my laptop. I'll just come back with my chicken dinner. You know. Yeah. So... <sighs> that's the plan now. Yeah, I guess stuff happens, I guess. But I'm going to show you something. Quick. Um, I got this done. I'm going to unload the dishwasher and put everything away so I can put that dirty dish and fork in there. And I'm going to take care of that. Um, I put this over here in the cutting board over there because I'm going to make that later on today. And now, there was like crumbs all over here underneath it even. I cleaned out that and, okay, oops, there's still some stuff on there. Oh man, I didn't be able to see everything. I'll have to finish cleaning in here. Oopsie, I did most of that, but I tried. So at least I tried, but... Yeah, I was cut off when I was like trying to explain information about the fireworks. Um, <clears throat> hundreds of people would try to get out all at once, and it's like a big garden. And so I just didn't want to um, go to the fireworks for those three reasons. So there is that sponge thing now that those two little, oh, there it is. I used this to clean the microwave off and I gotta wet it and but he's gonna be here soon I should go down there and get my charger and my stuff here I'll be well you know what I mean you'll see me in a minute alright we're here we're here. No, I don't have lotion. I just want to see how much the uh, chicken dinner is, and I'll come back with it later. I'm gonna go to that little barn to that place right there. Right there. So, oops. Huh. I don't know how to zoom out of my face. How do I do that? I don't know. 
But yeah, we're here. It's a seven dollar. So I'm gonna walk up this way here and then see how much stuff is over across the way. Alright. Take it easy so I don't trip and fall, right? And there's a step, a couple steps right over here. Take it easy. I'm very, very nervous if I fall. If I miss a step or something. All right, I'm gonna try and find uh, Abe Lincoln. <laughs> yeah. What we decided to do, because these guys didn't have their shoes on. Hi there. Not the, the car show driveway, but the next driveway. <laughs> Okay, this is what I was talking about right here. Walking cockroach, that's five. Watermelon, I thought it was one last year. Five nacho cheese. I wonder what's in the walking tacos. Um, okay. Now I guess I'm gonna... I'm starting to get a little thirsty. Now I guess I'm gonna go... Alright, I got myself a hot dog. With... Take a picture. supposed to do with your psychotic? My anger problems. Oh. Yeah, that'll, that'll dope you up. Man. The real stuff. Instead of drugs. I'm in lovely my nerve from Infusa so I should try the essential oils. Expensive, but how are you going to get any kind of... Yep, chocolate and strawberry ice cream. How much was it? Uh, $4, I think. Mm -hmm. I kind of had a gotten myself an ice cream headache um, eating the ice cream. But yeah, I'm going to go walking down over by the cars and take a picture and stuff. Video, I mean, of them. So um, Jenny can see because she said she wanted to see it. And the uh, mac and cheese won't be ready until like 20 minutes. So, 15 minutes actually. Well, I'm Lila. having a good time today. We brought Harley and we got Dennis over there. Uh huh. Yep. Come and see us sometime. And did you hear about um, Jane dying? Yes, we know. Yeah, that was sad. <laughs> that dog is Harley, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like Harley the Harley died Davidson? Last year, huh? Harley Davidson? Like Harley Davidson, yeah. What was the other dog's name? Tanner. Remember okay. Tanner? Yeah. Is that a golden retriever? No, Tanner was. Uh, this is this is a terry terrier. Tanner was a Pekingese. Oh. This is for Jenny because um, she wanted to come and look at all these. I'll just uh, walk slowly like this past them. Okay. Yeah. Poor mom. There's like a truck over there. Why don't I look at these first? Well, that's cute with a little cabbage patch in them. A little doll. Welcome to our show. <laughs> Just old. 
1918. 102 years old. Imagine writing these these many years ago. Imagine that. Wow. 1919? This is the kind of car my my uh, great grandparents ridden in 1920 when my grandpa Ray was born. Imagine that. Wow. See? Imagine him reading, writing in there. My grandpa Ray. In a seat like that. Nineteen twenty, another nineteen twenty. Grandpa Ray, my great grandparents, and when I have children, my grandpa Ray would be their great grandpa, because my dad would be their grandpa, and so my grandpa Ray would be their great grandpa. Over here. Hi. 1926, he was like six years old when he, this was out. My grandfather was six years old when he, this car was out. They have a little doggy too. <laughs> Leo. Leo. <laughs> so, okay, why don't we work our way downward and then out. By then, I think the mac and cheese would be ready because that's what I am waiting for. Huh, look at those. It's like painted red, white, and blue stripes. Get the windshield wiper up. That's already looking at that. Where are the really old cars that like those were in there? There's an old one. Hi. I don't know what year it is though. It's like an overview. I don't feel like walking too much today, okay? It's like an overview of it. Okay? It's like the cars in this view. But it is over here. And okay, I don't feel like walking all that much. Okay, let me, okay, let me do like a span view. Okay? Alright. Has to have my back problems, you know what I mean? I don't want to have my back hurt and start to feel the flame rising up my back because of walking too much. So, that car looks nice too. Just like a. Okay. I don't want to walk all the way down over there. My back is starting to hurt. Let me do this one more time. Those are okay. Okay. Now where do I want to walk? 
I'm just going to walk around in a circle, kind of, because I don't want to walk that far. You just look at them while I pass. I'm just gonna walk slow. Should have took that anti-inflammatory this morning, but I didn't. Sorry, my fault. Everybody makes mistakes. At least you're seeing some of the cars. Over here and stuff, but I don't want to walk that far. Maybe Jen would uh, have to sleep with a fan on next year, the morning before. I mean, that evening before, excuse me. You know what I mean? So she can come to this. She doesn't get too sick. Cause that's why she's not here with me. Because of the heat got her sick. I can't walk that far, so... I feel like I'm going uphill. My back's starting to hurt. Oh, those are umbrellas. I like those umbrellas. <laughs> those are pretty umbrellas over there. So what's the water with, huh? 56 Chevy. This old one. Is this grandpa's year? Oh, 1950. Nope. Abe Lincoln! Oh my god, my favorite! Yeah, hi, how are you? Who's my favorite president? Oh, well, good! Good! How are you doing? Good. Good. You taking pictures of cars today? Yeah. Awesome. I made my day. I was like, I hope I see Abe Lincoln. Yeah, I'm here today. <laughs> Hey, how are you? There's an old Ford Maverick. Hi, Brian. He's from my school. I went to school with him. But hi, Brian. <laughs> so, yeah. I think that is it, guys. Holy cow, that took a lot out of me. <laughs> When I get home, I'm gonna eat my thing, my chicken dinner, and then I'm gonna just relax and edit my videos. Alright? So yeah, Brian, I've known that guy ever since, I think, elementary school, I guess, I think. I'm gonna see if the mac and cheese is ready now, alrighty?
on her outfit how cute she looks and then boom oh how adorable <laughs> I like that silk shirt too oh, so cute Oh my god, it looks so different over here. They install these freezer places. This is inside pick and fix. Oh my lord. What else do you need? Uh, cottage cheese. Where's the cottage cheese at? But it did lead to an arrest, so let's just consider the matter closed, all right? Now, let's go nail this little knife. Time is 15.32, 12 of November. This is Lieutenant Mike McCarthy. Also present is forensic psychologist Dr. Kate Fuller. Suspect is Dougie Trent. Mr. Trent, do you know Mr. Takahashi? No comment. Not Salt. 
get this off. Matthew had an affair. Dougie killed in Iraq. In every other outbreak, that was a big tragedy. When I'm here, in the destruction of my neighborhood. Oh. No, I will remain here on the south side of Chicago and launch my beer, which will be a far greater legacy than any burning man will. I want to see the burning man. I want to see the burning man. I don't get it. Is he alive and burning? Does he burn himself a little bit? I don't know. I don't know how he burns. Or I don't know, and I I want to know. I want to know. I know. Those that were saying association, and I was like. What's your deal? It's mania. <laughs> but it wasn't mania. So, uh, my follower off the list. Um, OCD, yes. So that's one. ADHD, I did, that was dissociation. Um, so no, that was, that was not off the list. That's two off the list. Why not? What else? Uh, ultra syndrome, it's not really... That, um, it's not really... Psychiatric, it, it's associated, it, it has a lot of comorbidities. But that's sort of on the list anyway. Essential DVD creator tools. It's an all-in-one toolkit at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Introducing Wondershare DVD Creator. Okay, we're trying to do it on my blog. I wasn't doing it. I wasn't playing, I was saying video forbidden. I don't know why. Featuring one-click DVD version. Fifteen times. Matter. Matter. With over 150 video formats supported from Playback. Our DVD creator supports multiple video formats in the web's trending platforms. You can access dozens of output formats. No problem. From my cell and DVD discs to BDR. I was communicating with this man, and he was trying to open up or tell me something. Since that night, it has never left my mind. There's spirits that roam the earth all around us, and some people are able to connect and some are not. I just feel like I have this energy that just goes to me. I would love to know why are they drawn to me. Why do I always feel it? I don't know what it is, but I attract ghosts. Tried to make it all good and everything and like that. So I exactly he didn't have a he didn't have a lot of time to see everything through. Mm -hmm. This all has something to do with what you experienced, and it ties into your story somehow. I don't think I can put that into words. I mean, I don't think there's anything I could. I mean, losing a child like that, and just from such a nice, uh, caring, loving, close family. You know, I don't think you'll ever get over that. I could go on and on for days about how much I loved her and what she meant to me. That kind of close knit that you hope doesn't have. Um, Amy's case is now a murder. Police are depending on a series of guard ATM videos to give them a lead. Friend was rude or something. It's just very minimal. And then we see how they do. We see how they respond. Are they caring? Are they supportive? Did they listen? Do they make it all about them? How does this go? If it keeps going positively, if they keep listening, reflecting, uh, validating our experience, uh, seeking to support, those are all good signs. So then we can open up more, right? Then we can share a little bit more and a little bit more. And so just little by little, that's the best way to do it. Um, because otherwise, the truth about it is that then we don't truly know ourselves and no one else does either. We can kind of like, I don't know, turn it in on ourselves. And we know that's not good. Any kind of upset. Um, recently, I want to say it was like a couple years ago, he had talked about how it went, because he's 45 now, I think. He said when he was, when he came out, and I don't know how old he was when he came out, he was young. He said, if I knew bisexuality was an option, because back then it was like, are you gay or are you straight? That's how he describes his experience. Um, 
if I knew bisexuality was an option, I would have chose that. Because he's like, that's what I really think I am. Okay, fair, right? For all this time in his life, he's identified as one way, and he's saying, no, I think I'm this way. Who am I to get involved in that? That's his sexuality. That's his his life. That's his preference. And you get to choose. You have, you have your choice. Hey, 
Taylor, captain of the varsity cheerleading team. Not my fault you're a fucking fuck. This is Joey Green. His dad owns all the used car dealerships in the Tri-County area. There's a older boy, and I will have to take the law on my own hand with her. The butterfly is a symbol of rebirth. Do you know why? I'm sorry, but Metamorphosis. I'm out for her. Very good. No, no, no. Shall I go? Is that going to be naughty and Yeah, let's see if he can fly. No, I mean back. But she wants me to be a fucking cunt. Bastard. September 2nd, 1970. We just received funding to move I forward really, on Tesla's really, really, agriculture. Really so we have to think of another way and how we can get you the help that you need, okay? <sighs> try and try and really try to help you, honey. Listen, I guess you don't want to absorb you out with you. Do you? Yeah. The machine is just very special to me. Lady, can I tell you something? Everyone, get ready! G52, wow. columns have dropped! Who got a bingo? G58. Round over. rock and roll, I, I'd probably be dead or in jail. It really saved my life. I am, 
time, but Annie's late. I really don't understand how you work. I'm about to get up. Annie, we have to leave like right now. Or else wait until they're showing. Uh, I can't go to the movies. I have so much work to do, and then I'm going to Bryce's for dinner. Bryce's? That's not fair. You said you. Spongebob shapes with meatballs and cheese at crackers. And that's how it's made. Not laugh out, laugh at. Alex Lewis is our friend. You have to do what's right. Hey, don't do that to me. Besides, what if someone sees me? No one's watching us. Excuse me. I have to admit, this is pretty cool. Alex, you realize you're a little green. Oh, yeah, I'm not feeling too well. Uh, Nicole, did you catch the Lewis Driscoll coffee mugs at the concession stand? You know, I hate that. A person does something totally selfless and, and heroic and people immediately start trying to make a buck off of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys. Glad you could make it. Listen, I've got a little something here. Come on, I don't know who you are, but I'm really glad you're rescuing me. You aren't rescuing me. Exactly, Mom. <laughs> Run, run, get help! So it looks like I won't be going to college after all. Attention, attention, plan personnel. There is a computer loose in the plan for stolen valuable secrets. Don't be fooled by her you. She's extremely dangerous. If you see this person, take her into custody at once. Yet. Hi you guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna start getting ready for bed now with E here. E is just gonna lay on my bed and wait for me. Aren't ya? Yup, yup. Good night everybody. Night night. No hyperlapse, okay? I'm down to 9% of battery life, so I must plug you in. That's the date on the corner right there by the timestamp. Okay? <clears throat> See you later. No hyperlapse.